Hi, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can use these power distribution boards, the two of them here, for your CCD, CC3D, or other flight controller for quadcopter or hexacopter. Uh, when you want to connect your ESCs, your flight controller, and other electronic circuits with the drone you need to use one of these or maybe some other means of distributing power so let me explain this so we have two types of power distribution board the difference between these two are that this doesn't have any active component it doesn't alter the voltage or doesn't do anything to the input and output except it distributes it but this one has also regulated 5 volts and 12 volts output so the 5 volt uh, sometimes camera flight controller or some some other electronics needs 5 volts so this will supply it and uh, some other uh, like camera or uh, video transmitter for fpv might need 12 volts so this is a 12 volt regulated so the input of this one will accept uh, two three four four cell batteries and then you can get fixed 12 volts and 5 volts regardless of the input voltage but this one does not have any regulator so let me test and connect and show you each so this uh, power distribution board has these labels here on this side uh, so this is positive and this is negative this two negative that you see the one is for this one so positive negative you can connect one ESC here negative positive another ESC here then you have positive and negative you can connect another ESC or you can connect it to your battery and then also here po negative positive negative positive negative positive actually all these positive are internally connected together and all the negatives are connected together then we have here LED so we have negative and positive for LED in some mm, drones people put LEDs at the front and at the back when you fly so they have different color and also the it has different features so people supply power from here so positive and negative so there are two extra connections here we have another uh, connector here but this is also switch so let me show you on the back side we have a switch here so when you turn this switch on and off this will disconnect this uh, power and this will can disconnect the LED so you can turn the LEDs on and off when you turn the switch so I have connected the three cell battery through this wires turning it on and then to show you so you're getting about 10 volts now this will also have the same voltage and negative positive here also will have the same voltage also have the voltage and here I have to press that probe hard to get the voltage connection and this LED that you see here if I connect it to the positive and negative this is now doesn't have a voltage if I connect it here doesn't have a voltage so you can turn it on from here I just turned it on that was a switch so now I can get the 12 volts so the 12 volts can be turned on and off from this switch and the same thing here this switch can turn the voltage on and off so let me check if this is already on or off so we don't get any voltage now let me just push it and check it so this is now has power so this can be used for or can be used for the FPV transmitter some people call it TX so this can be connected here if you don't need the FPV because it consumes battery you can turn it off I have already soldered here all the ESCs so mm, this is the actual board that you can see here and these are the soldered version of it so I have four ESCs, ESCs so they are already connected and here I've connected one cable for the positive and negative so this can be connected to the uh, battery uh, <coughs> the same way 
for this one you also need to connect a cable something like this by the way these cables and the boards are sold at uh, our website robojacks.com and we are shipping it uh, across Canada so one of the negative and positive can be used for connecting the battery so uh, this negative and positive for example can be used to connect this so now because there is no signal so I'm not worried about these so they will not have any voltage here so I'm just connecting it here so now this is connected this switch will allow the for the you see here for the LED so you can connect it for LEDs and turn it on and off the same way as the other one that we had so let me turn this off show you the light so now this one has 12 volts and I am now uh, let me just uh, turn it off so you can see this is turned off and you can turn it on and these two spots that you see here this is for 5 volts so I'm, I'm getting 5 volts here you see this on the screen we have 5 volts and here we have and um, I connected reverse so we are also getting 11.3 so that's the voltage of uh, approximate 12 volts that's getting because uh, for 12 volts the 3 cell will give you the almost the same output <coughs> but you can connect 4 cell battery and oh, with, with 15 volts uh, you also get 12 volts so that's what regulated now I have connected this to the 4 cell voltage now I have connected the 4 cell here let me show you so to measure the voltage I'm just putting my multimeter here and you can see it's 15.5 volts and then for the output here at this spot if I just connect it you will see that we are getting 5 volts that's 5.3 5.2 volts and that is the uh, output for the 12 volts so this will give you 12 volts as you can see with the input of 15 volts we are getting 12 volts so you can use that for camera for uh, transmitter for whatever other reason that you need so 5 and 12 are very common voltages that is used for um, quadcopter so five five volts most of the time if you are using uh, uh, I see that doesn't have the uh, UBEC then then this 5 volts can be used to power the flight controller as well that was introduction for the power distribution board for uh, mini drones if you like the video please thumb up and also please don't forget to subscribe thank you very much